Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to debug your program in Java. So the basic of debugging or like why we debug in Java is to identify and basically fix any issue if you, you know, occurs in your project or at the runtime of any program or at the production environment or anywhere. So basically it's a process through which we can identify and fix the issue in the, our program. Okay, so basically uh, IDEs, you know, Eclipse and IntelliJ or Spring tools should provide so basically debugging tools and through that we can, you know, debug our code and identify the issue and solve that code. Okay, so basically I'm doing it in IntelliJ and you can do the same on Eclipse or STS. All those, you know, debugging process are same, but there might be the difference between the keyframes, you know, like F6, we can go with step over or step in with F5, but it might or maybe opposite of in the, you know, IntelliJ. Okay, like F5, we can step into a method or you know function or any variable step over f6 we can use this keyframe but it might be different for intellij so for that you need to go to your intellij you can change through preferences and with key map you can change to any key map you want like i have selected with eclipse mac os i can change it to by default mac os okay so now i'm i'm just going to show you how we can go with debugging okay so I'm just uh, doing it on a basic program. So before start doing the debugging, we need to set the breakpoints. Okay. So basically breakpoints is a, you know, point of code or I have to set in on, uh, you can see the here line numbers are there. You can also set it by e either toggle or show line numbers option present on your Eclipse ID or IntelliJ. Okay. So I have just enable this to show line numbers and I just want to, you know, add a breakpoint here or a breakpoint here so through breakpoint uh, whenever a breakpoint or uh, sorry whenever a code runs a breakpoint basically is a point in a code where the program execution pauses during the debugging so if i run ran my code and through system dot out dot uh, you know main method uh, sorry system out it's main method public static void main uh, if this method is the one after main i'm calling this then at this point the program execution will pause to first it will just come here and i will you know debug the program and see how the flow and you know how this method goes so basically through breakpoint we can stop or you know pause the debugging uh, sorry pause the execution of a program so basically it allows the programmer you know to inspect the code and flow of execution at the specific defined breakpoints but in eclipse whichever method or whichever code you want to debug you need to you know first set up those breakpoints but that's not the case with the intellij uh, let me show you so i have made two classes student and test student student is my you know uh, class where I have just defined some DTOs and some methods and test student is my class through which I'm going to test the, that student process and method. So I'm just going to, you know, mark breakpoint here for print info and for, you know, there is another print info and I'm just going to run this, uh, sorry, debug this. You can run either by clicking on this debug icon or just go to right click and debug. So now the debug process will start and you can see that here at the expression tab certain expressions are there with their values defined. Now if I need to go to that breakpoint student you can see that result and mark result 9 number 3 7 and 3 8 I have marked the breakpoints. So what I can do is there are certain keyframes defined while debugging okay. I have already told you about those keyframes. I'm again going to do so. So these are the you know common keyframes or mostly you are going to use those keyframes. So first one is F5. Uh, let me also open a notepad and just derive those keyframes. Keyframes while debugging. There is one keyframe F5. It means to step into. Means it executes the content or you know executes the code 
and if we click and dives into the method variable okay f6 is basically step over executes with the current line and flow and goes with line by line okay and similarly there is one f7 and there is one f8 keyframe through which f7 is basically you know step return and f8 is basically you know resume or i would uh, basically say f8 you know uh, just if i show you on my intellij look i am on line number 17 and if i wanted to execute or wanted to go to that specific line uh, student and uh, i'm just going to you know just disable this breakpoint and goes to here you can see how i am just marking breakpoints whenever uh, or whichever line i want to this thing is possible in intellij so i'm just going to you know enable my f1 f2 you know keys rather than app control keys as i'm using mac os system you so i'm just going to enable those rather than pressing function button and you know f1 m2 keys so i'm just going to press first f8 to show you guys now on this line number 37 your breakpoint or i would say your flow width come okay so what we have done till now is basically i have you know start the debugging and i have marked certain breakpoints okay so i have marked in line number 17 and i would now press f8 now you can see it comes to here line number 37 if i press f6 then it would come to line number 38 but as i don't want to see the value of mark result as i can see here or i can see that mark result is you know mark in double quotes its value is empty okay so i'm just going to press f8 and goes to line number 39 you can say it comes here at line number 38 and mark result is empty but you know if you want to update the mark result value you can also do so if you are doing in you know test some values or like see like uh, suppose mark result value if 90 in some scenario then 90 is going to execute the flow but it is less than 90 then it will come back from here to that method so we can also do the same through debugging in debugging we just can set this value using f2 keyframe and i'm just going to set value of mark result as 90 and you can see now its value is 90 and just going to you know add these values here by you know it's going to you know use for loop i'm just going to click on f8 again now result 2 so if i click on here okay it ends here i'm just going to you know click again f8 so that it can return back to here this line if i press f6 then you can see or if i press okay total marks okay now we can see here i have defined another method total marks i'm just going to this total marks to show you how f5 work so now i'm going to press f5 it means step into so this executes the current line of code and it dives into or it goes into this uh, you know whatever met method or whichever method we have defined rather than going to the next line of code so i'm just pressing f5 now you can see it asks us to choose a method in which we want to go and see how the execution goes so i just click on total marks and i don't want to you know uh, if i don't want to go into those methods then i can press f6 also so i'm just going to execute this flow calculating the total marks and i'm just going to click here f8 and okay result is there now i'm again going to press f8 and if i don't want to execute these line of code i can also press f8 but i am going to show you with one more keyframe that is f6 we can use and just see okay i am in print info now i don't want to you know execute this lines and i just want to come here so what i can do is i have just removed all those breakpoints and i am just going to also remove this total marks or we can 
have these total marks i'm again going to press f8 you know why this breakpoint is i have you know i haven't removed because total marks here is calculating and i'm in this method at that time so i have pressed f8 now the flow will goes back to test student here from where i have called but as i have also put my breakpoints on total marks method then it will execute this and now it will goes back to the test student now you can see i don't want to you know execute print info again so i have just you know clicked on here i have also removed this now i just wanted to go to okay f6 f6 f8 okay f8 and you can see our program has been finished and through this we can you know use the specific keyframes and we can use the debugging and through these all keyframes we can you know executes and understand the flow of program through these expressions so that's it for today thank you guys